was just a great die, great driver, fantastic, yep. This is what I can tell you, more so than the racing part of it. Over the course of the last 10 years, every time I, uh, every time I saw Greg, he was more concerned about how my kids were doing, and he was just genuine, genuine person of, of uh, concerns outside of racing, things that really matter. He, he asked, he cared, and I was more appreciative of that than, than maybe a lot of other people are about his own the track achievements. He was just a true friend outside of the track, and that's more of what I've been impressed with with Greg. Exceptional driver. Real, you know, real nice to talk to, easy going, real, real nice professional driver. We know him from racing. She was very little when um, she met Greg, and she's followed him ever since. You see your fans? Or? Yep. Yeah. And uh, what was it about Greg that uh, makes you a big fan? I think mostly because he's from here, local, and he's always been a positive great racer. On the track he was one of the best we have in the area. He's fierce and smart and knows how to drive. And, and are there any lessons people can learn from him do you think? Oh yeah he's he, he helps so many young guys and shows them how to do things and shows them share some stuff with them. He was awesome to watch. He, you know, he was a great driver. Loved the fans. He's, he made racing. Uh, Greg was a good family man, on top of his racing, and it's hard to balance both of those. Um, Greg was, to me, a great person because not only did he know how to win, but he knew how to lose too. He was a good, he was a good sportsman, and and always strived to do his best. There is no one fond memory. Greg is the fond memory. That's it. 